Hi Pisces, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. They're trying to heal and move forward. How they're perceiving you, judgment upright, harfant in reverse. They're seeing you as someone who's, I'm getting literally, you've made a judgment call here um, to not commit to the situation. I'm definitely getting a divorce here for some of you. But they feel like you've made a decision about this and you're not investing. Harfant is also our second house. We're not seeing value here. We're feeling like this isn't really providing us with anything. Let's see. Yeah, I see a divorce energy. Queen of Pentacles death. It's over. Someone here could have been juggling. Because we have King of Wands in reverse in your energy, I'm for some of you Pisces, I am getting um, a little bit of a cross watchers read here as well. Where they may be blaming you here for being inconsistent. But this seems to be a break of our separation in your outcome. You're doing well individually, um, specifically your energy. It's quite stable. In this person's feelings, we have Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords. Yeah, feeling stuck in some sort of routine or commitment. They're, uns I don't, they're not wanting to commit to this situation is what I'm getting. And some of you, that player energy... And if this is a third party, because we have three people depicted in this person's outcome, although it's coming through in reverse, um, this can be a wife. Something that they were feeling chained to. So if you were committed to this person, then it seems like they're feeling stuck in the connection with you. I feel like when they think of this situation, it brought them a lot of stress. Yeah, see? It was... It's like someone who's wanting to move forward, but a situation was keeping them stagnant. It's a toxic connection. King of Wands, Devil, Lovers, in reverse. I don't see this person doing anything to make this work. It's pretty consistent if I look at their energy. Clarify Eight of Swords. Yeah, see? Secretly. Unhappy in some sort of. See, Hierophant can definitely rec um, represent long term commitment, marriage, some sort of institution, building, religion, something that is keeping this person stuck. If this was an affair and someone's already committed and not to you, I'm getting they had secret feelings for you, but they weren't. They were trying to do the right thing. In their intentions, we have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. When I cut the deck, Ace of Pentacles up right. I'll ask about new love for you because this situation doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. Uh, I, tr I tread carefully. I don't see much solid action, but we always have free will and I am Knight of Swords and Fool can sometimes be a little bit impulsive, sort of leaping without looking, being careless, right? So if you do receive a message from this individual, there may be some delays for one, but I don't see this person bringing stability. They're still going back and forth on whether they should reach out to you. It's like they don't have solid intentions, you know? Clarify death for what action this person will be taking towards Pisces. This is really interesting. Because when I was, I only wanted one card for what action they'd be taking, but this card wanted to come through with death. It's like keeping you stuck with them. They were feeling stagnant, but 
uh, energy I'm getting is getting wishy-washy. It's someone who's not wanting to fully invest, but they're also not wanting you to get away. So I don't see... It's like bread crumbing another, just to keep them around. Can be a Scorpio. And if things have ended, someone felt like they weren't getting what they wanted out of this situation. That is why they pulled their energy back. Can be you, can be this person. If you weren't physical with this person, they weren't getting anything in terms of intimacy. Um, they may feel they wasted their time. Because what does this person want from you? I'm, I'm seeing a commitment here or a non-committal energy. You know, someone that was already committed or someone who's non-committal. What does this person want from Pisces? I feel like it's... They don't know. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. See, it doesn't get more stagnant. Confusion. But what I can tell you is they're not bringing stability. They may even have other options here. King of Swords in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse, which they may not be honest to you about. And as a result, you're withdrawing your energy. I don't see you taking action in your feelings, King of Wands in reverse hermit. On a break, you're going silent and you're focused on your healing here with the star. Some of you were dealing with a player and you were craving for more routine stability. Clarify King of Wands in reverse for how Pisces will be feeling. But again, if it's a cross watcher watching, it can be because we have this in Pisces feeling, right? That they were doing this as well. But that's for very few of you. King of Wands in reverse, uh, clumping together. Oh, yeah. Someone is taking back control and cutting the situation out, and there's no going back. It's a very toxic, it's like toxic masculinity. King of Swords in reverse, King of Wands in reverse. Emperor, son, someone may even have children. I don't see you budging. I'm seeing a lot of masculine energy coming through on your end. And I feel like a lot of you are wanting to move in a different direction. Even if we look at the King of Wands, his head is facing away from the spread. In your outcome, we have seven of wands, nine of pentacles. You're saying no. This is someone who knows their worth and they're deciding to stay single. You're guarded. You don't trust this situation. I feel like that emperor is your energy. Clarify seven of wands. Yeah, you're busy. You have other things going on for you juggling but i feel like this has something to do with your finances it's a busy month for you i also see financial independence so if that is something you're striving for it's beautiful nine of pentacles upright yeah you're you're investing in your future you're investing in yourself queen of cups in reverse i don't see you putting any emotions into the situation. It's like a burden, a drama that you're not wanting to be a part of. A really healthy energy for you. And this person's outcome, three of cups, five of swords, in reverse, seems to be some sort of ending to a third party. Yeah, we see ending to a third party. Three of Cups in reverse death. They have their back turned. You, It's like you're both going your separate ways. 
some of you may continue to be friends with them or some of you may have to see them for practical reasons maybe work or something because we also have hermit which is virgo energy clarify five of swords in reverse nine of wands This person doesn't have anything serious to offer you. They're really much, they're very much stuck in their head. If they've done you wrong, Nine of Swords is guilt, regret, overthinking. Still very passionate when it comes to you, but the offer they're bringing is this Page of Pentacles. I wouldn't trust anything this person has to offer. if they were to come towards you again. Is there any love coming in? New love for Pisces. This can be a flighty energy that you also run into here in Feb. I don't see you committing to it. Yeah, you do have an offer coming in. Ooh, you're actually attracting someone very sweet. Kind of opposite to this energy. Someone laid back, not about drama. Calm, cool, collected. And someone who's emotionally available, it's coming through upright. But also advice for you to be more vulnerable because you're coming through in this Queen of Swords energy, which sometimes, sometimes, not for everyone, can be a little bit bitter or cynical because of past experiences and they're saying page of cups they're not saying you know rush into anything or be vulnerable from the get-go but they're saying take baby steps you know mind and heart definitely but need to be a little bit more vulnerable Ooh, when i cut the deck engagement wow okay let's see what comes through here for your love life pisces boundaries no more enabling feeling used setting healthy boundaries whoever that i feel like it's you seven of wands emperor someone here also feels cursed string of bad relationships karmic cycle the evil eye and do you see whatever this stuff toy is we have the pins through the heart and we also have this tag around its neck saying X. So three people, for some of you, I do see that an X involved, which is why there's separation. We have withdrawal, disconnect, tests of love, relationship breakdown because it's toxic, not good for you, low vibrational, toxic relationship. I can't tell you, you know, you would know your situation, but some of you were committed to this person and they were, you know, acting single. And others of you, I feel like they are already committed or they're just non-committal. Yeah, lessons that you're learning and raising your vibration, it says. I love that. See, setting healthy boundaries and raising your vibration. One more for you, Pisces, from this deck. We have protection and friendship. Someone's very protective over this friendship. Don't want to hurt you. Protecting connection, protective over you. 
friend zoned, friendship before love, building trust and foundation. I mean, if you continue with this, I was getting that friend zone situation. I do see that. I'm going to get you the love fortune teller and see what you can expect in your love life here in the future. What can Pisces expect in their love life? Moving forward, we have divine timing, 60. Some of you could be in your 50s. The gates of love are open, 73. You've met your soulmate. Quality time together. Yeah. This is how you're being perceived. Love triangle, no second chances. You've made that judgment call. You've made that decision. Don't let love blind you. Queen of Swords. The blinders are off. There's just something new wanting to manifest. Someone's love language may be quality time together. A 7-7 seven, seven is also talking about a very spiritual uh, connection. They're also saying undecided and some things are better left unknown. So someone here may be feeling like there's a lack of closure, but they're saying like cutting your losses for some of you you will be rewarded 39 with a new beginning because whoever you're dealing with you're not on the same page so it's better friends than lovers i do see a friendship i do see this person likes you definitely you know as a person they like you but hmm I feel like there's a lot of obstacles here with this person and they're wanting you to manifest what you want suffering in silence some of you may be considering is it worth a second chance and if this is resonating it's i don't think so they're saying it's more infatuation than love they want you to work on healing your heart expect to travel some of you may be traveling. False promises, they're saying. That's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So no substance. New love will find you. Unrequited love. It may feel like that. They go, they're undecided. They, they're uncertain. And they have other options, it seems. But look at what's coming towards you. It's telling you a story. Divine timing. The gates of love are open. Quality time to go. The gates of love are open is also this person welcoming you with open arms, right? An open heart. Quality time together. You will be rewarded. New love will find you. 60, 73, 77, 39, 44. And we also have 30 bottom deck. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your reading. Nostalgia and closure. You're back on track. Keep going. Don't look back. Take time to heal and let go of the past so you may embrace this new phase. And they were promising you a new beginning. So you may embrace this new phase in your life and take that leap forward. Sometimes the only closure you need is understanding that your soul deserves peace. I was seeing winter and divine timing. Focus on your health and get out of this cycle. This is the karmic cycle here is what is coming through. Um, yes, Pisces, that is where I'll leave you. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.